Beardo Benjo. Hello there everyone and welcome to today's video. Now let me just start by saying I apologise for not using my green screen today. I had completely intended to use the green screen to ensure that this video showed you more of the game than of me, but I'm still recovering from my COVID booster. These vaccines absolutely kick my ass, and the booster did a real number on me and laid me out for a couple of days. I'm starting to feel better, so I can finally sit and start recording videos again, but I couldn't lug the green screen downstairs and set it up. I was like, nah, that's, that's one step too far. However, I am ready to sit and try out this brand new Luke Ross VR mod which dropped at the weekend which everyone's been playing and I've been very jealous of everyone who's been able to play it. This is a VR version of Horizon Zero Dawn and it also includes an experimental first person mode which is just, it's just silly bonkers isn't it? It's just absolutely ridiculous silly bonkers nonsense and I love it. Um. And I'm so excited to see how this performs. Now, whoa, that's an attack. Now, I can't really remember how to play this game. It's been quite some time since I played it. Um, oh, that's just not right. That I thought that was my weapon select. That's my weapon select. Um, and this is actually a file, which is a complete game save, complete game file. Um, and I'm jumping into a new game plus with all the weapons and all the trinkets, just so I can showcase the VR mod, because I thought that would make the most sense. Now... This is running today on my Quest 2 via Airlink, so I'm not connected to the PC with any cables. I'm just hooked up wirelessly, and I've got the game running on medium settings, and I'm managing to average about 64 frames a second there. Game FPS, you should be able to see it, 64 frames per second. Now, you can, in the VR options, really tinker with things. Now, I've... I've throttled my GPU because I'm recording at the same time to try and ensure that this capture uh, is nice and smooth for you to watch. I've also flicked onto, um, basically it's flat for me in here to ensure again that the capture is as good as physically possible. However, if I click stereo, now it jumps into 3D and it is a stunning 3D. It's absolutely gorgeous. But I think that does have a little bit of a knock on effect on the video representation that you see I think it kind of impacts how good that is so this looks a lot nicer to me because it's 3D and this is how it's intended to be played however I think for you guys it looks a little bit better if I capture it on mono but just to show you that it works in 3D and in flat here it is here it is running so for the sake of the video I'll flick it back to mono just to make sure that it, it looks as good as possible. But yeah, I'm averaging about 60 frames per second, um, which is really, really bloody good. My resolution is set to 1890 by 1890. Uh, you can pump it up if you've got a beefier rig. Mine is an RTX 2080 i7 9700K, and I've got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. What are you doing up there? Oh, there's a man up there. So if you've got a, a chunkier rig than me, feel free to try and push it a little bit more. He's just... There. He is just What's standing there. Uh, he's having a stand. It's, it's a nice cliff. It's a nice view. I'd probably stand up there. Um, yeah, if you've got a better rig than me, feel free to push this uh, this mod a little harder. And obviously, you probably won't be recording. So the recording has an impact on the performance. So if I wasn't recording, I probably would push the resolution up and probably jump to high. Ah, uh, climbing's weird. Climbing's weird. Okay, here we go. Let's go shoot some bloody arrows at some metal dinosaurs, shall we? Aloy, you're here. Okay, so the cutscenes aren't in third per uh, first person; they're in third person. Did is everything you okay? Be alone? You gathered the parts for fire. Let's arrows. go into her hair, shall fire we? Fire arrows. Give her what hair a big sniff. Are we talking about? Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. All right, I'm going, mate. I'm going to go down this big old slidey thing because I think that's going to be a lot of fun in VR. <laughs> All right, just jump, I guess. Really oh yeah. I can see inside my own body. Very cool. Right, off we go. Got to go 472 meters that way. Now, the cool thing about um, Luke's real VR mods is that things like the HUD elements, the menus, they've all been carefully implemented into VR. So if you want to bring up your kind of healing crafting menus uh, in this game, they're just down here. So I can flick through them. They're not out of my field of view. Just a quick peek to the left, and they're there. I can bring them up. I don't need to hit. Oh, I've drunk a potion. Let me do that. Um, but I can see all of that stuff. It's all been implemented within a VR play space. 
So you're not losing things off to the side like you do with uh, something like Vorpex. The embrace. Uh, quick save. My whole life, I've never gone beyond this valley. Light the bonfire. That'll ah. change after the proving. If I take Two one days. more step, this will be the furthest I've ever answers. been away from the Shire. Two days, and I'll know who she was, and why I was that cast bloody out of birth. Sunbeam is like for that. Right. destroying my eyes. Time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should Time find her. I don't need to gather parts for fire. I've got fire arrows. Look, right there, fire arrows. I guess I have to pretend like this isn't a save file that's completely and utterly done everything. Uh, I need to find some robots to kill. It is a, a gorgeous world to see in first person with scale and stuff. It's um, really, really nice. Just that is just blinding me. And I know my hand won't actually block it. Right, let's see if we can find some dinos to shoot. Mother's watch, mother's heart. Let's go, just go towards this. This is going to be the right thing to do, right? I know I've seen a few people talk about how they've struggled to get this running consistently. I played with it for about an hour and a half um, before I landed on these settings, which have given me good performance. But the game's quite performance intensive anyway, so. Hello. It's a bunny rabbit there. Every now and then when you try to ready your bow, it does a kind of weird shaky thing. Um, not like game breaking or anything, but just a bit odd. It's kind of like it's conflicting with itself. Oh, what's that? <gasps> it's a pig! Don't run away! No! Ah, that was shit. Don't climb the tree, Alloy. Alloy, get off. Aloy, bloody hell, whatever the hell your name is. Can you get off the tree, please? I'm stuck on the tree. Right, fine, we just climb the tree. Brilliant. Forced to climb a tree that I didn't want to climb. Right, okay. Let's kill the pigs. Oh, deer over there as well. I oh, know they're too far away. Did I just break my legs? Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, turkeys! I need one of them for Christmas. Where are you? Come here. No, I missed him. Come on. Yeah! Christmas dinner is sorted. Everyone's going to be happy. What we get? Fatty meat. Take it all. Right. Let's take down that robot I just saw. Now, again, I haven't played this game in ages. I'm probably... I'm probably gonna be tapped. This looks so good. Saw me. Uh oh. Go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Take that. Oh no, they don't stand a chance. I've got all the upgraded gear. <laughs> right. Uh. Hello. Hold. Search. Search the watcher. Take it all. This is very special. The stuff that Luke's doing is absolutely insane, and I understand it is. Hello. It is quite tough to run. I'll do what I have to. Oh, oh. But if you can get it to run. Oh no, there's loads of them. It sounds like they're behind me. Oh they are. Oh, these ones are bigger. These are big daddy ones. God, this is cool. And now it's now it's raining. Um if you've got the, the rig to get Luke's stuff to run well. It's absolutely phenomenal. Like what he's doing to give VR users new experiences uh, in periods of time where we might not have any new games coming out, or just transforming kind of old games, flat games, into experiences we can have in VR is absolutely amazing. And I did see somewhere he's aiming to do one a month <laughs> for 2022. Don't quote me on that, but I did. I did see him say that at some point. Oh no! What are you? Fuck! Bloody hell! Piss off! Oh no. Oh bollock. Just one bollock, not two. Stay down. Shit the bed. I didn't like that. Is that another one over there? Eye me up. Oh what we got, what we got, what we got. Sticky bombs. Ice thrower. F uh, fire forge. Let's shoot some fire bursts at this thing. Hey! Hey! Horse! We playing at? Come here. Yeah, that's right. Run from my fire-flinging weapons. 
Ah! Oh no, that one didn't care. Oh, bollock. Whoa! That'll do it. That'll do it. Campfire discovered. Uh, what's the range on this? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> oh, that is just... That's too much, isn't it? We shouldn't be using that. There's just no fun in that. That takes the challenge out of the game. It's just... Yeah. It's incredible stuff. I uh, was a big fan of the GTA 5 real mod. Huge fan of the Red Dead one. And... Um, the Mafia ones were great as well, but I do prefer the first-person um, mods or the first-person games. And I didn't get to try the Mafia first-person VR yet. I do want to. Oh, that looks great. All the grass and the fauna moving around as I go through it. That's so cool. Right, I want to find one. I want to find one of the really big robots. There's one up there. Look, big squid. This is the first time I've played VR in, like... Three days is probably the, lo the longest it's been in quite a long time. Take this, you. Oh, I can't kill him. Bits of wood fall out of his head when I shoot him, though. So where's this wood coming from? Oh! What about you? Are you made of wood as well? Yeah. I am an outcast. Take this. Yeah, right in your wooden dick. Like, the vistas are amazing. And I've only got this running on medium. Again, um, it would look a lot nicer if you had it running on high or ultra. Snow. But that would come at the here. cost of some frames and some performance. And I'd rather have the solid performance than the incredible visuals. I, I kind of know at this stage what my PC can handle. Um... Especially with something like this, which is quite a taxing VR mod. Uh, where am I going? This way. Okay. Come now. We should speak. Should we? How do I interact with you? Why? I killed loads of the robot arrows. dinosaur things. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, What's really nice is in cutscenes, you can turn all the way around. You. Look all the way up. See things you wouldn't normally be able to see. Now that does usually cause some weird things to happen. Characters in the background might be like sliding along and stuff, but it just it adds to helping you feel immersed in the world. The tribe calls it a sawtooth. And it's oh, something angry. That is a big boy. Look at that. Ten years ago, they have killed many braves. It's huge. Yeah. I'm going to search it. I'm going to take all its goodies. That is absolutely huge. Look at the size of that thing. Cro Are we going to go kill one of them? I want to. Let's do it. Alright, spooky, spooky nighttime mission now. Follow the path. It's mm -hmm. not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine. That's what. For some reason, this kind of looks like Skyrim in here now. Sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. This particular bit at this particular time of day with that kind of mountain range in the background reminds me a lot of the first time you see a dragon outside Whiterun in Skyrim. Don't know why. Just getting them vibes right now. Oh man, I'm going to hunt this dinosaur so good. A watcher carcass. I'll I know they're called parts. watchers, but at the same time I also just like calling them dinosaurs. And I hope this is the kind of thing that becomes... <laughs> I'm just... I'm dreaming out loud again. Uh, I hope this is the kind of thing that becomes possible with uh, PSVR 2 like just VR modes for all kinds of games games aren't necessarily built to be VR Ooh. but the VR headset will allow going down. take that and that and that, oh my god why is it not dying no, there we go, there we go, there we go I don't know, some kind of switch on the PSVR that or PlayStation 5 that allows you to kind of exactly flick into VR mode for things. Why can't the tribe this machine? I don't think that tech actually exists, but I'd love it if it did. Tomorrow they will hunt again. Oh no, here we go. Yes! This is exactly what I want to do. I want to fight these things. 
Oh my. Oh my. With arrows. Be for you to decide. This hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. I love it. He just throws me out here, and he kind of thinks I'm going to die, but he doesn't really care. I should stay out of sight. So off you go. Off you crack. Use the tall grass to approach. Okay. Should we stay out of sight though? Traps. traps. Okay. Uh. Oh, don't put it there. That's not helpful. Oh, it's going to see me. Oh, it's going to see me. Right, okay. Stick, stick some traps down, shall we? To a blast trap here. Yep, do that. Another one here. Uh-oh. Maybe I should just fight the thing. It's Hello. Funny. Have that. Piss. Uh. Ooh, bloody hell. I've got really good arrows. What the? Jesus Christ. Ah! No, no. Okay, even though I've got good arrows, I need to run away. Uh, run. Run. Oh, Aloy, you're getting beaten up. Ah, dodge. Dodge roll. Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Okay. No. 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 Oh, we need to get up there, really. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Let's get up there. High ground. Eee, Jesus. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, oh. That wasn't the way up. Oh my god, this is really disorientating. I think I'm gonna die. I... I'm just gonna start shooting you with arrows. What in the piss? Oh yeah, you didn't lie, did you? Oh! Oh, bugger! Oh, come on. Yes! Oh! No arrows, no arrows. We want fire arrows. Alright, get flamed. Flame on! Yeah! Oh, that sucks for you. Oh, that was cool. The combat is quite disorientating because you've got that dodge roll as well, which is actually really integral in this game. You can still execute it in first person. Like, I can go left, right, forward, back. And you don't go with the roll, so you're not pulled over and under, which would be absolutely disgusting. But it's that sense of spatial awareness, because the game wasn't built to be played in first person. The enemies attack you in such a way that you kind of need to be aware of exactly where they are. And it's it's hard when they're behind you. It's not impossible, but it's certainly a new <laughs> thing to consider if you're going to play this game in first person as opposed to third in VR. Absolutely stunning. Of all the games that are on Luke's kind of potential VR mods list, this is this is probably... I don't think this was even on the list. Because there is a list being banded around. I think the next one that's actually getting a VR mod is Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk 2077 is coming next. And then there were games on the list like Dead Space. I would actually tear off somebody's arms and legs for a VR mod for Dead Space. I would do horrible, disgusting things for a VR version of those games. Filthy, disgusting things that would haunt me until the day I die. But it would be worth it, because I absolutely love Dead Space. So that's the one I was hoping for the most. Um, but this is a huge surprise. And um, it's it's really nice. Let's craft some arrows, shall we? Yeah, craft some more. Do it. Yeah, more. Need more. That's it. Brilliant. Um, it's a, it's a, ah, just a wonderful... Wonderful VR mod, if you can get it running stable. I think if this was running kind of sub-50 frames, I'd really struggle with it. But as I've got it at over 60 frames, or a solid 60 frames, even in combat, it's really nice. Hey, look, I think I'm going to leave it here. I don't think I need to do much more than just showcase this. I know a lot of people have played this already. Um, I just wanted to jump in and check it out for myself. 
and show you what it looks like from my perspective. Um, I think this is very cool. I'm obviously already quite an outspoken fan of uh, Luke Cross's work and the mods he's made, and I know they don't always hit the mark for everybody. The alternate eye rendering isn't to everyone's liking, but I think what he's doing is very, very cool uh, in general. I think even just objectively, looking at it from the outside, if you don't rate the finished product, just the process of making these flat games into VR experiences is something that needs to be kind of applauded and respected because it's we can't currently play these games in any official capacity in VR and as VR players we want to play everything in VR so this is very cool that these things are happening and these projects are being brought to life by Luke take that you dick uh, you know in retrospect I probably shouldn't have played with a completely maxed out save file because it makes everything bloody easy you just oh hello oh what have you done to me don't ah 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 dinosaur stop that yeah that's what happens um yeah i, I really rate this it's another one that's absolutely fantastic i mean i want to see more stuff on the level of the Resident Evil 2 VR mod, which is just getting better and better. I think hand tracking really takes these things to the next level, but I appreciate that isn't always going to be possible. However, I'm not adverse to playing a VR game with a controller, like I am now. Um, and if you're not, I urge you to check it out. This GTA, Red Dead, The Mafia games, Luke's working on a whole ton of VR mods and conversions for flat screen games. Cyberpunk 2077 is coming. And then there's many more that are potentials on his list of games he'd love to work on, including Dead Space. Take that. And I'm managing to get this running at 60 frames Let's get on with whilst it. recording. Oh, no. Oh, no. On medium settings. If I was playing this without recording, I think I could push it to high pretty comfortably. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe. And I'll see you very soon for another one. Climb that tree, Aloy. Climb it good. Climbing's a bit weird. I won't lie to you. It is a bit strange. Tightrope walking. Not too bad. I can see my feet, though, which is quite cool. Oh, we go up there as well. Oh! Go even higher. And then, check this out. Um, I will hit all of these with a blast bomb. Oh, that's all. Oh, you got to aim with your face. Aim with your face. Take this, horses. <laughs> Rain hell on the horses. Rain hell on the horses. Uh, they, they didn't like that. They didn't like that. Bye, horses. Goodbye, horses. Do, 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 goodbye, horses.